In this video, we will demonstrate how we can receipt equipment into our inventories. Uh, to receipt equipment, we go to the equipment menu and we select receipt an item. You will get a screen receipt equipment. At this point in time, you can receipt into all of the different tables within MAME. You can receipt into the equipment table, the RPS table, the consumable table and the assets table. I'm going to know who we're going to be receiving from. And this could be just uh, any old contractor, so we'll just type in contractor. And we'll give ourselves an invoice ID, invoice number one. And if there are any notes applicable to this, like it might be uh, consumable stores for an exercise, for instance, you might type them in here to give you a bit more information in tracking later on. Right now, you can't do anything with this information. You've got to add items from your tables into this screen and receipt. So we add from the equipment table, for instance, you will notice at this point in time, we get to locate an item. Uh, if you're a location and you find this is a brand new item that's never been put into the inventory before, you now have an opportunity to even add it to the catalog to save you going back uh, through the other steps that we met in the earlier videos. It can happen right now. Now, in this case, we're going to pick an item to receive to, and we'll just take the first item on the list, collar. Now, you'll see here there's add quantity. If we we'll add a quantity and we'll save to list, and say you wanted to add two and you got your quantity wrong. Well, if you go back to your original screen and simply double click on it, it removes it. So nothing's happened with that receipt yet. So we'll add quantity, select it again, and we'll give ourselves 10. And we'll save to our list. Okay. What happens now is you can have an opportunity to add another item. Okay. So we'll go okay. We'll add another item. And this time we'll take a, one of our harnesses. We'll, we'll say we've just received a harness as well. We've only got one. There should never be more than one because it's a serial numbered item. Okay, if I go save to list right now, it says I have not selected an item to add. So I've got to click there first to select the item to add. Go save again, and it says this, is, this item in the background has been checked. It has serial numbers, so you can't really receipt anything unless you have a serial number to add to it. So we do have a serial number, so it's 05350, and we'll go save to list. You can now add another, or you can leave this screen altogether, and you'll find you've now got two items in your list. If we had some items for the RPS table, we could do the same. Note, we can add to the catalogue as well. And here's the RPS database. If we had items for the consumable table, again, we could do the same. And note, we would have you have the complete database there, and you can add to its catalogue, and so on. So we're simply going to accept this receipt. Now, remember, we've added items to 7373 and 90630, and one of them was a harness. So what should happen here is that uh, when we receipt, these items should be added to the main inventory, and we'll do a bit of a check. The next thing that happens, of course, is we get an opportunity to reprint an official receipt into store voucher for our own records and files. So we print that off and away we go. We'll just exit there, then the receipt's been saved. So if we go to the equipment menu, view an item. Remember the first one was 7373, go next. And, okay, it's not obvious to you at this stage that you've just received items, so let's look at transactions. And we will show receipts this item and lo and behold here we have we receded 10 from the contractor into receipts okay now those 10 would have been put straight into available stock so previously there must have been 30 uh, 20 in available stock we'll close that equipment management now let's see we'll view an item now we'll look at 90630 and go next now, I happen to know there was 309 harnesses before. Now, there's 310, so it looks as though our receipt has worked. Now, remember, this should be counting on serial numbers. So, somewhere in here, and let's go right to the bottom. There it is there, new item, receipted on, on the 18th of the 10th. So, we can basically prove that item was receipted. 